Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a watchOS 7.1. Yesterday, Apple released the new watchOS 7.1 alongside iOS and iPadOS 14.2. And in this video, of course, we're going to go over some of the latest details, new features, and improvements of watchOS 7.1. Now, keep in mind, these softwares always contain bug fixes and improvements and are recommended for all Apple Watch users to upgrade as soon as possible. So let's get to some of the latest details. Now, the first thing that Apple Watch or watchOS 7.1 adds, it's now the new support for the hearing notifications. So if you exceed the decibel on your headphones, the Apple Watch is now capable of notifying you that you've exceeded that decibel and your hearing could be affected. So that's definitely a new feature here for Apple Watch with watchOS 7. This new software also adds support for the ECG application. Now the new ECG app for Apple Watch Series 4 or later is now available for the Republic of Korea and Russia. So the new ECG, for those of you that live in those regions, this is now available. And it also adds the notifications for the irregular heart rhythm notifications for Apple Watch for the same regions as well, Korea and Russia. Now, one issue that this software now fixes for some Apple Watch users, in particular watchOS or Apple Watch Series 6, is that sometimes it would fail to unlock your Mac when using your Apple Watch. This is a feature on Apple Watch where you uh, open your Mac and it will automatically detect your Apple Watch and it will unlock for you. So that feature wasn't working uh, properly on Apple Watch Series 6 and Apple Watch Series 5 and that seems to be addressed with this software as well. Another fix for Apple Watch Series 5 and Series 6 is that some Apple Watch will continue to remain dark. The screen will remain dark even if you raise your risk, right? So when you have your Apple Watch on, if you raise your risk, it should light up, right? Well, some watches weren't doing that. The screen will remain dark. You would have to tap it. That also fixes that issue as well. If you came across that problem, watchOS 7.1 fixes that as well. And that's pretty much it. No new watch faces or anything like that with this software update. Stability, bug fixes, improvements, and a handful of features now available with Watch OS 7.1. Thank you for watching this quick update, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.